So we can come in essentially and offer simpler behavioral solutions for the city. Everything from adding a new bus stop to adding uh, a new line for a subway to eliminating parking on the street can be more efficient when you want to help consumers get from A to B. And we're pulling out the recommendations for the city at any given time. So it depends on the time frame that is interesting for the city if they want to see immediately what's happening and what are the solutions that they can apply to it and give them that. And then we're also looking at long-term trends. And this is where the algorithms really come into play. They're looking at what's happening over time and what should be the solution in order to solve this. It won't be possible for us to live in such a small area on top of each other if we don't build solutions that will help us manage the flow of people within those areas so that we can all enjoy the benefits of living in an urban area. Is that we actually have embedded technology rather than a plug and play solution that you can pick up from your home improvement store. And this is an edge network hub and we've actually got it connected to all of the devices throughout the home. They're voice and facial recognition enabled. The average homeowner is saving at least 30% off of their utility bills by having our green solutions. And a smart city, they'll actually be able to know where those assets are. Most cities today know how many street lights, for example, they have, but they don't know the location of that asset. They don't know if it's actually turning off you know, at dawn and turning on at sunset. And these are cost savings and actually from a managerial standpoint, tremendous um, for whoever's um, in charge. So we provide a whole ecosystem for builder to build smart shopping center, smart neighborhood, smart park, all kinds of things. Because if you don't, you cannot buy a smart house. This is not a smart city. You have a smart street LED light, that is not enough. So we are trying to show the whole future concept from little components to a big picture. In smart cities, for example, you can find robots in the buildings and uh, you are coming to office of the company and you get a flash for entrance. Robot can recognize your face, understand are you on a database of your faces or not, and then give you access card. If you are not in a database, you can go to the office. You can find robot in the airport, ask where is my gate. He will assist you navigate to help you get a parking to receive or they can receive a plane. You can receive everything. All kind of simple stuff and in the future we will see this around all around the world. We make charging stations at home, at work or on, on, the, on the road and also provide uh, the software and service packages around, around it. Uh, this is actually our latest uh, release uh, and it won a CES 2019 Innovation Award. This typically gives you a full battery somewhere between two and six hours. Two and six hours. So when you go to the grocery store, you go to a movie, or when you go to work, you just plug it in and you'll be fully charged when you leave for home again.